Welcome all of you muggles. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome to day two of Code Tover. Hashtag Code Tover. Um, on today, we're going to continue. I don't know if you saw the last video. If you didn't, go watch it and then come back. And basically, um, I was about to show you something and then I realized it was gonna take me a lot of time to explain. <laughs> and I didn't want the last video to be longer. So we're gonna do it now. All right, so what I was showing you in the last video is that we have this date now. And then if we want to convert it to epoch time, according to the documentation, um, you can just do now as number, which works. But then I wanted to show you something else that you can also uh, configure because I just saw this with someone that asked about it. And we noticed that the units that they needed to use was seconds, which is the default, as you can see here. But then um, let's do... I don't know how to write, sorry. <laughs> All right, if we do epoch time now as number and then the unit is milliseconds, you will see how this number changes, but it still works. And I'm going to show you how I know that if I search for epoch to daytime in Google, I will see this epoch converting, converted, converter. <laughs> and I basically can just take this number and put it here. And this is going to translate to Friday, October 1st yes yes i know that i'm cheating i'm recording all my videos on the same day and i'm releasing them on other days i'm sorry for being lazy i just don't want to work on the weekends <laughs> but i'm trying here okay so um i this gets updated to the daytime that i want it is 7 p.m now so in my time zone this is the correct time zone and then if I take this one, notice, notice how this says, assuming that this timestamp time stamp is in seconds. So now if I put the other one that was in milliseconds, this changes and says, assuming that this timestamp is in milliseconds. <sighs> All right, so what this means is that it is the same we still see friday october 1st at 7 pm so it is still the same time the thing is that if you use it as number or as unit seconds it will return this format and if you use number with milliseconds it will return this other format with three additional numbers so it really depends on how you want to use this. Um, you just have to uh, see what your system requires. If it requires uh, this first format or if it requires this other format. And that's it for today's video. This was a quick one because I wanted to show you this and how to do it correctly. All right, so see you on the next video tomorrow. Follow hashtag CodeTober and follow me on my socials at DevAlexMartinez. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>